You just gotta tap into it. The, you gotta tap into it. Is whatever your thing is. The beautiful thing about today's time is the people, like the rappers today, the old rappers be hating on the new rappers, right? These niggas making money. Back then, we was faking like we had money. Yeah. We were wearing the chain, the label got us. Mm -hmm. These boys walking around with $3 million worth of jewelry for real. That's theirs. They got caught because the middleman cut out. We don't need Atlantic Records. We don't need. So now when I don't need you, when the, if, if I do do a deal with Atlantic Records or in the movie world, Universal, once I show them I need you, because they're a bank. Yeah. Universal is a bank. Sony is a bank. Mm -hmm. They're going to write the They're going to give Wank a blank check. Like when I say, uh, Wayne don't do this. He don't do interviews. He don't. Yeah, he just page. said it on another on another show. Nothing. I actually heard him say it on another show. He don't like to talk about it. He just because do it. he know he, he getting so much. He, he don't, don't talk about. It. He don't even. He ain't even saying about the Will Smith smack. Will don't talk. I mean, Wayne, I be getting frustrated. I'm like, bro, I need to say something. To, I mean, yeah, because, because when you went, I gotta I gotta when you went on social media after the Will Smith thing. Every comedian. Yeah, I told him was I wasn't talking on, I about. Said, Man, I already when know. I mean, I, it, the part that was funny to me about comedians who were saying it because a lot of comedians were saying it like y'all don't even think, think about, about coming over. They wanted the niggas. That was funny. They to wanted me. every, every nigga. Don't, don't come up on there trying to run like, up on there like that. Don't nigga. think you can do that to me. <laughs> you know what he said? He said, "Man, that's why I just talk about me and my family. Can't we go got, wrong. we got enough problems. Yeah. <laughs> that's dope. That's the same thing Kevin Hart do." Yeah, Wayne, talk about him Wayne don't talk about people in the crowd. Like when you go give him the bathroom, and I mean I'm 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 a little more ratchet. I like that type <laughs> of shit. But I'm learning Wayne is Teaching, showing me to be more polished. Yeah. He's mm -hmm. younger than me, but he's mentoring don't me. Don't matter. I've had yeah. that same thing. I tell youngsters that all the time that's been in the podcast yeah. world. You gotta know you, you know can where learn you're from at. anybody. He's anybody. 70. Wayne's 70 for real. <laughs> but let me ask you, uh, like what's the most cause cause I know you've done a lot of skits. Mm -hmm. What's the skit that done the most? That you you own the that done the most views the most views yeah. the quickest or the most views over a period of time over a period of time or know. the quickest you see what I'm saying like it, it, you do a lot of them and they mm -hmm. all go to a million I yeah. know. that's easy I don't know I don't know I know what I know I know one of the most um, impactful ones was the one when I made Deacon oh, when boy, I made Deacon be tripping in that church man because let me tell you something when I first came on Wayne was like when I was coming around we would be the group, you know what I'm saying? And Wayne would be cracking up, laughing at me, and be like, man, Mike, funny. And everybody would be sitting around like, yeah, 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 right. yeah right. He was like, I'm telling you, man, he, he made you funny, Mike. And I was like, is he really, like, he, <laughs> is, he is, he is he trying to be funny? About you. He, you know what I'm saying? And he would always say that, just, man, Mike, funny, man, I'm telling you. And then the group started kind of peeping, like, oh, Mike is funny. Yeah, and when he was putting me on the skits, people that person was like, "Ah, man, who was this big old muscle bound dude?" He, <laughs> you know, they wasn't really rocking me like that. And Wayne was like, "Nah, I'm gonna keep pushing you on them because they don't know yet, but you funny, you real funny." Yeah, yeah, yeah. And he kept, and now it's like, you know, what I'm saying, people stop me like everywhere I go. It's like eight pictures in the airport. Hey, man, you so funny. I'm like, damn, man. I love man. Listen, man. Listen, man. I love that dude, man. I do. But that's what I'm saying. Like he knows that. It's a different type of funny. He's mm -hmm. not looking for what you, you may be looking at other people and comparing what you think, mm -hmm. but it's something he sees in you that he feels other people hadn't tapped into. It got to be. But that's what I see. When I see you, yeah. I'll be like, this dude different. He just he ain't even trying. Like, yeah. it just, you being like, your normality brings out the funny for me. Mm -hmm. I know because I watch you. I'm telling you. Yeah, I appreciate it's just, that. Just a, it's just a chill code where I can be funny and I ain't even got to go the extra mile like everybody else do. I'm just coming across the way I come across. Like being with Ro, mm -hmm. bringing the different girl, be, getting caught with that girl. That was funny as hell to me. <laughs> when, he, when he when he seen him at the, uh, at the I don't know where y'all was at. No, y'all was coming out somewhere at a movie, oh, yeah, a yeah, restaurant. Yeah, at the restaurant. And I was like, damn, he, he called it. He loved that one. <laughs> That's Wayne. the one for me right there. You know what's funny? Wayne said that. Wayne <laughs> yeah. was like, he said, this. He said, I always said the Deacon skit. He said, no, bro, that's a skit. That he said the people really, he said, seeing you funny. Yeah. Was when, when I caught you, he said, your face was funny. I wasn't oh, say that that was funny, man. I yeah. was like, you were just chilling, though, but you know you wasn't right. And she was out there at first. I didn't even know you was going to pop out like that. Right. I'm like, this nigga in here too. <laughs> and he supposed to be with Ro. Mm -hmm. That's the part that would throw me off. So how, how did you and Ro get such good chemistry? 
Let's see what I'm saying. Ro, man, she's a great woman, man. I love Ro. Ro, I love Ro. thank you for always answering my DMs. You never treated me knowing you should just answer. And I'm like, this Ro, is weird. Yeah. Man, Ro like, is. this weird. Right. I showed you. I said, my wife, I said, look, Ro, Ro be answering mine. Ro right? is, a, man, she a great woman, man. She is. She like my, Ro is like the, the mama sister. Because it's a family now. Yeah, yeah. So, you know, you got a family, it's, you got different components and different personalities and different this and different that. And it's mostly men. So you got a bunch of testosterone. Yeah. A robe always keeps the balance. You know what I'm saying? You can she tell. Get, she keeps the balance. She's such a sweet woman, man. And yeah. she's a really good actress. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You could tell. She told me she yeah. was going yeah. to act something well, she, she had going. Yeah, a movie that was happening in Dallas. That's what she told oh, me. Yeah. Okay. Well, she just recently just shot um, Chicago Fire. Okay. Oh, that's big. NBC Huge. Yeah. Like, I like so, that show. Yeah, so she coming into hers, man. We are just coming into ours, man. And I just love the whole team. I love... Uh, seeing everybody win yeah, and I love being a part of something where I, the thing I deal with usually is the guy who can help me but won't because he's afraid that there the woman is. gonna like me yeah 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 yeah. yeah. you know what I'm saying he's afraid, afraid the women gonna think Mike might be too handsome I'm gonna help this nigga for yeah, real yeah 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 Wayne the first dude of all the celebrities I've ever met he the first one that is secure around me that's because Jesus mm -hmm. is popping Jesus. <laughs> yeah, no, let's exactly. be real. I know. Exactly. I, I go through this, yeah. bro, because exactly. I'm tapped into God. Mm -hmm. So whatever happens, I feel like God got my back. I'm being real. Mm -hmm. So I, I always, you see all the pictures on the wall? I mean, uh, I got to see it. Go ahead. Idris Alba, is that his name? Did I say it right? Yes. Trying to holler at my wife. I seen it. What? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I wasn't there. I didn't see it because mm. I was on the other side of the room. And uh, we was he in, saw it in we the was picture. In, I seen it in the picture, nigga. I said, what the hell going on? We can't put this picture up. <laughs> and then I went to Jamaica and her mama had it on the mirror. I said, you need to take that damn picture down. <laughs> <laughs> then she, I'm like, what the hell is this? She's like, I like interest. I'm like, I don't give a damn about it. <laughs> that picture coming down. Man, <laughs> it was just one night we was at the Takers premiere with T.I. Like everybody was saying. Everybody but saying. But look, we went to that Takers <laughs> Mirror man, I was like this nigga here, man. I was on the other side. I didn't see the picture that night. No, back then was You know what? And I, I did not realize um, on the picture till like days later. Because mm. oh, I, I realized. Up, it. Let me tell you, when I walk up to someone, <laughs> when I walk up to someone it's who's it. a celebrity, I'm like, hey, can I take a picture with you? And mm -hmm. we take a picture. I said, okay, thank you, and I'm gone because I don't want to stay around and be like trying to talk. To, cause I don't want you to feel like I'm a groupie or whatever. Right. I'm just yeah, here to take a role. picture and then leave. Right. And that's it. And then I probably didn't even look at it until the next day. And then when I saw it, I was like, I was so pissed. She mad because she wanted it to be a picture. I she wanted could post. to put a she picture. She know I wasn't up, trying to hear that. But he was not looking at the camera. <laughs> Nah, he wasn't looking at the camera at all. I'm like, this nigga too. He was drinking, though. I know. I know. <laughs> he I'm was not, drinking, I'm man. I'm posing and I looking straight at the camera and I'm she pissed. Posing. She posing. She looking at him. I'm pissed. She like this. He yeah. like this. <laughs> <laughs> oh, hey. I got That's exactly what it all was. Right. I, I was so pissed. But we had a good time, man. He, even still, I, I mean, mm -hmm. I, you met Tiny that night. That was yeah. a good night. But we that was years ago. Mm -hmm. I, I'm talking 2010, 2000. That was a long time ago. when Takers came out. You know, that was a mm -hmm. long time ago. Now, we getting old. Yeah. Damn. We ain't getting old. But getting wise. Getting wise. Hey, I'll take it. I'll take getting it. Wise. But I so, wanted to go back to, um, okay, with acting. Mm -hmm. um, what are some of the big films or what are the biggest actors you've ever acted with before? You came to country. country um, Secret Headquarters is probably my biggest one. Um, Jerry Brookheimer. Y'all know who that is. Mm -hmm. Jerry Brookheimer. Jerry Brookheimer is, you know, don't get much bigger than that. Um, and I was the only Atlanta actor on the main cast. It was Owen Wilson, Michael Pinas, Jesse Williams. It come out, it's, it's come out in theaters August 5th. Wow. Okay. Yep. That's um, the only thing I hate about when you it film. It comes out so it long. It takes so long to come oh, out. Oh, that's see country way come out every day. Next bam, day. bam, bam, bam. <laughs> I can't stand that. Yeah, take it because it's a, it's a, um, it's it's like a I think it's a hundred something, two hundred million something. But it's a lot of sci-fi and mm -hmm. all the different stuff. So yeah, but it's um, that's gonna be when I drop. It's gonna take me to another level. Um, Raising Dion, I was in there. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Um, um, I did Chicago, Chicago Med. I know that show. Um, Big 50, Kings of Joburg on Netflix. We're doing season two. I go to South Africa to shoot season two of that. That's awesome. Have you ever been? Yeah, season one. Okay, mm -hmm. that's awesome. Right. Kicking it. Yeah, that's yeah. a big talk right there. Do you right like there. Africa? I love Africa. Really? Love that's it. what That's the other guy said, Out of too. all the love places it. you've Stone been, Mecca. which one you like the most? Out of Africa? Out of everywhere you've ever been. Africa. Africa. Really? Hands down. We got to go to Africa. Would you move? 
Yeah, I want to South Africa. I'm gonna tell you what y'all. Y'all need to go to, to Puerto. Y'all been to Mexico? Yeah, no. been to Mexico. You gotta yeah. go to Puerto Vallarta. I've heard of it. I've you gotta get me there. Okay. Book the tickets. Gotta go. But Africa is the best. Then you just go there. You were just in Mexico. I was in Mexico, Puerto Vallarta. <laughs> it was going yeah. like that. I seen y'all like this most? nigga happy. What do you love yeah. about it the most? It's just like a paradise. It's like you got the the huge rocks, but then you got the ocean, and then you got the behind you is like all these trees. It's just like you in the middle of all of this in this beautiful. It. Mm-hmm. Have you been to Jamaica? It's ghetto. Yet? Now I'm going to Jamaica next. We go off the tour. I'm that's go to our Jamaica. hometown. Okay, so see, that's why you said Puerto Vallarta. What going what you like Jamaica? There <laughs> you go. There you go. You know, going back to the acting, the mm. thing that um, I think about myself being older, when people look at someone like you, your size, how you look, they're not thinking about you being in comedy. They think about right. you being in action, in action, mm-hmm. romance, all of that. Yeah. Yep. So, um, how how many times do you get that stereotype? I get it a lot, man. I think. Uh, one of the stereotypes I get when you are a masculine black man, mm-hmm. we are definitely under attack. It's not a, it's for sure. Oh, mm-hmm. I know it. Um, so it's like, they, if I'm not doing something feminine, um, then this the other option is like, hey, let's make him a player. <laughs> right. Let's make him the cheating ass ain't shit dude. You right. know what I'm saying? So it's like you. It's, you don't see that many comedians. The only other comedian that I can think about that was tall and and muscular mm-hmm. was um, that guy that came down in Friday, the ball headed one. Terry Crews. Terry Crews. Terry Crews. Is he a comedian? To me, he was funny. So I don't think he's a comedian. <laughs> I call yeah. him a comedian because he was fun. He was hilarious. He was to me in that show. Okay, fine. My my sense of humor right. is different from everybody else's, I guess. Well, to me, he was funny. Okay. Yeah. So when you think, so I'm be the first big ahead. swole dude that's actually funny. Wow. <laughs> no, it's really, that, that really, it's, it's really a lot of. It, is there a lot of guys that swole and mu- mm. that that nah. that's no, funny and that's comedian that do stand no. up? No. Nah. No. You gonna I'm be the first? You, I'm trying to. It's, it's, I'm, I'm a trailblazer. Mm. And That's dope. You it's, know, one thing I noticed about, um, cause I be, cause we be studying um, YouTube and mm-hmm. all of that, and in country, how important is it to have the right title when you're posting clips on? Good, YouTube? good question. That's everything. That's like how important is the intro, is a man's introduction to a woman before you get her number? Same thing. Hey man, God damn you, fine girl. <laughs> miss that. You ain't clicking on that. <laughs> damn. What you been do tonight? Mm. You ain't clicking on that. I missed. Hey, how you doing? Because I be laughing at some of his titles because I know it's all of his titles start with when. Every single one of them start with when, such and such and such. Clickbait. Clickbait. But then I know when you look at other people's, they always put the celebrity's name first. Mm-hmm. So they'll say, you know, um, country way in X, Y, Z, this, 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 this. And that's what they use as their clickbait right. is putting their name first. But in his, it just put when, such and such. And he'll have a, he'll say like, when ex girlfriend, brother, cousin, yep. this, and I'm like, hold on, hold on, let me calculate this. Because he'll keep it the same thing, right? So I'm, I'm, still I'm the trying ex, to, yeah. I'm trying to figure it out. I'm like, okay, so ex brother, cousin, how is how are they related? I'm like, mm-hmm. I'm like, oh, okay, I get it now. Yeah, no, I I definitely um when I look at you and Country Wayne and and what what's the the two boys name them sons of his. Oh, uh, Tony Tamar. Tony and Tamar. He was on him this morning by taking the damn necklace. I <laughs> that think. was funny right there. <laughs> <laughs> he told my trust. Tamar told my even, trust the process. <laughs> <laughs> what? No, man. It, it's, it's crazy because I look at it. My kids usually be here a lot of times on the cameras and stuff. Mm-hmm. And I understand, man, that getting them involved is very important at an mm-hmm. early age, man. My kids grew up in this store. Mm-hmm. That's why we put the store here. Right. Was so we could let them grow up in business and stuff. And they still do other things, of course, make good grades. Mm-hmm. That's why they get paid for that so they gonna continue that right. but um you how know how often do y'all film uh we might do once or twice a week once a week and film a really? bunch of skits mm-hmm. uh, how we many might, skits we might do seven went to miami we did like 12 we just go so in so it's not just an everyday thing no we ain't got time for that do you oh, okay. do you we realize? Have time. You, you would, I because you know he drops like so many every day. Yeah, we so do. I'm yeah. A lot of the vote. We put him in the vote. So I probably should, I'm over tail the sauce. Yeah, yeah. Tell. Give it up. Give it up. Give it up. I'll put it in there. <laughs> <laughs> we film all. We film all in the day, and we you know what I'm saying that we just kind of and then Wayne he just the whole storyline is in his mind. You know so he comes. Saying? He never runs out of ideas. No. 
And he writes all of his stuff. Yeah, it's all. It's a it's a world. It's Wayne's words in his mind, everything going on, and then you know we'll shoot ideas to him. Like, what if we do this? And sometimes he'd be like, Oh yeah, let's do that. Sometimes he'd be like, Because mm, he know where he wants to. to I ain't gonna say end. But he knows which direction he want to go in. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? And sometimes it'll change depending on the the because Wayne his he has a relationship with his fans. That's why he don't got to put the celebrity name because mm -hmm. it's like a, it's like Tyler Perry, right. you yeah. know, better quality. So it's like <laughs> I shouldn't say that. Go ahead, but it, go ahead. It's Tyler like, be, better it's quality. Tyler, it's Tyler Perry. I shouldn't say better quality, but you know what I mean. No, I know. I mean, what you're I'm saying. gonna be honest with you. I get upset about a lot of the Tyler Perry moves because I yeah. think the black men are depicted in a way to where we can be He's depicted better. He's always said that. I yeah, do this I on do. every episode I go there because yeah. I know we already look bad enough to, as we're being depicted out here. Yeah. And I'm like, every movie got to be like, we just crap, we not yeah. good, and that's the main character that's getting the views and the things that happen for him is the one who's a deadbeat. Yeah. And then the woman. You ain't the gonna see me on Tyler Perry Project. Why not? I don't, I don't Because wanna, of that? I just don't want to work on this project. I just not... I you don't just, think you'll have good chemistry. I don't think yeah, I won't have good chemistry with his his work. Well, I, I'll leave it at that. We it, 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 and, and I understand you got to have self awareness to understand yeah, that. You, you understand know? it, and he's doing his thing. Yeah, financially. Oh, yeah, financially. Yeah, he's making a bunch of money. He's a he's a he's a he's very inspirational because he came from you know living in the car like I did. So yeah, I, yeah, I yeah. He told that story. I looked to him as inspiration, but I just think his. The lane he, you know, his his world, I wouldn't fit into Tyler Perry's world. Wow. So yeah, yeah. The so, only thing I thought about with him where Country Wayne is concerned is that big property that he purchased. I'm like, Country Wayne need to do something like that because he loves to support all of his family and just have like his cast and everything like that. Mm -hmm. He should supply something like that for everyone. And he could. It could happen. It could happen. Yeah, yeah. because he ain't got he ain't got Tyler Perry money yet. <laughs> no, no, no. But I'm just saying, <laughs> go ahead. It's, it's gonna happen. It's gonna happen. It's though. gonna, it's gonna happen. happen. Do you do? What's your uh, top three uh, actresses of or actors of all time? Actors, Dead or alive? actors or actresses? Yeah. Actors. And then I'm gonna go comedy next. Right. We gotta see Denzel, of course. Denzel, of course. Yeah, he talked to uh, Will after that mm. slapped. Oh, he night. did. Yeah, they they said it. Leonardo DiCaprio. Mm. Oh man, good one, good choice. And gotta then, throw a female somewhere. In there. I would have said Robert De Niro, but I'm gonna let you make it. I love Robert De Niro. I do too. That yeah, yeah. And he date black. But you, you know what I'm saying? Top three. <laughs> yeah. yeah, only three. Robert. Only three. Dang, <laughs> made it hard for me. I love Robert, man. <laughs> Dang. Ooh. <laughs> I was gonna say Johnny Depp. <laughs> But damn, Robin. Robert. Robert De Niro. I know it. That's my ah. favorite. That's my favorite, man. I was, you know, I was gonna say Johnny Johnny Depp because he's just so versatile. versatile. Johnny Depp go mm -hmm. into the character. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? I look at characters like that, like Denzel, Leonardo DiCaprio, um, Johnny Depp. I'm gonna go. With, I'm gonna go with Robert. Well, but you know, Samuel, he comes in and he acts. Uh, you know, Samuel has this thing when you look at coming to America. Or all those other early movies, or uh, uh, what is there, a white girl, something about uh, it was Black Snake Moan. Yeah, uh, yeah. When you go from there all the way to now, the Avengers and all mm -hmm. that, he's come a long ways, man. I love Samuel. I, th I love him. I just only reason why he ain't in my top five because he he's the same character in every movie. In every movie, he doesn't change it up much. Does. Yeah, but how I much love Denzel. Denzel, Denzel did that when he did the the training day. That's when y'all fell for I it. I love Denzel in every single movie. Denzel, and I see Denzel do it too. But he it's does Denzel, do it though. It's Denzel. <laughs> that walk. It just so he it's just. Iconic. I ain't watching that, that nigga walk. walk. Right. <laughs> I'm not, I, ain't, you know, I can't go there with you. <laughs> you can't say that. while I'm trying to. Exactly. Like I ain't going there. Walk. I'm like, yeah. I'm like, yeah. like this here, that <laughs> walk. I'm like, yeah. no, <laughs> not that and walk. Pull it back. So do you finish your sentences first? Do you don't mix your sentences with my sentences? Do, no. do you realize how much that that country Wayne is uh, blessing you, man? And when you really think about it, because mm -hmm. I think about the fact of. When you even when y'all decide to go here or there or anything that happens, because you don't know life hands you different things mm -hmm. at different times. You're building up your brand so much right mm -hmm. now. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? Yep. To where you're gonna be able to set your own number in different offices and different spaces, however you want to. Mm -hmm. If if things keep going this year consistently like they're going, I see a whole new horizon for you That's come real. 2023, 2024. Mm -hmm. I'm being real because you guys are working hard every day. Yeah. Whether you want to say it is or not or whether it seems easy or whether it's, whatever it seems, mm -hmm. there's a lot of different content because there's always content over create for me anyway. So there's a lot of content you guys are pushing out. Mm -hmm. This guy's got 
uh, from uh, what's that boy drip to the old man? Mm -hmm. What's that old man name? Uh, Buddy. Buddy, <laughs> all the way to himself, back over to where you, which you deal with him at that point. Mm -hmm. A lot of people love that drip. I love drip, man. <laughs> I gotta get him. I show, I'm, I'm going to Houston, but I definitely I want to. I gotta get Country Wayne on here. I, I ain't gonna be happy until it's done, said and done. I'm gonna but, ask him. I'm gonna ask him. I, yeah, yeah. But he he just a dope dude, man. Yeah. When it come down to he paving loved the Dallas way. too. He loved Dallas. He loved Dallas. Wow. Why? He loved that because I, I I came one time. He was like, "Oh, that's my stuff ground right there." <laughs> Like, he loved Dallas. I don't know what I, I don't know what it is, but he said that a lot of people mm. love Dallas. He loved Dallas, man. He was he was he was kind of upset that we because you know he didn't pick the cities. Yeah, it was a few cities. I think one was like, I think it was like Detroit. I know Dallas. It was Dallas and two other places. But he, he probably like, loved the Cowboys. That's why. Oh yeah, that forgot. nigga do love the Cowboys. <laughs> there you go. Daniel, right there. What are we talking about? We the forgot. Boy, he got that Cowboys. Cowboys skin. I forgot time. about that. That's he the loved the Cowboys. Oh, he loved them Cowboys. So that's I what it is. That <laughs> little boy, listen, <laughs> man. Boy, that nigga. Woo, that nigga be having me laughing when they lose or win. He got. I said, this is the one. <laughs> yeah, he loved them boys. He be cutting up about the Cowboys, and you know why? How you feel about the Cowboys? Don't go there. You don't like You like the Cowboys? No, they don't like them. Neither. There's Kansas and I all I have that. a love hate relationship for the Cowboys. Who's your team? I used to love Pittsburgh. It's Cowboys. The Steelers? Man, it's the Cowboys. Cowboys all day. <laughs> she love them boys, man. <laughs> man, them boys ain't got to win or nothing. They still number one America's team. <laughs> Why everybody hate when you say it? But that's I, I, who it I is. Always ask, how are they it, the American? How team? can they not be? No, they were the started cowboys. That's what that's what America's Every, about. No, no, no. <laughs> <laughs> so, who are you? Who do you like? Do you even watch football? I don't even watch sports no more, man. I but don't either really fan. like I used to. It nah, changed. It Did changed. You, COVID change things for you with kind of everything? It so, made you stop. So football, I stopped watching football when um, what's his name? I forgot the boy name now. Number seven, Kaepernick. Okay. Mm -hmm. But Kaepernick, I, I boycotted in this. When I tried to come back, it just didn't have the same. Same, yeah. It didn't, did it? Nah. And and so that's a that's a touchy situation. But everybody had to come down off their high horse when all that stuff happened with Floyd and all mm -hmm. that. You know, um, man, I, I just I don't I don't get it how they couldn't see it before that. But hey, that's what make it. People don't look through people's lenses. Yeah, we are some biased people, man. When it comes to everything. And like I said, acting has changed my perception of everything, like religion and everything. Like I don't, ha I'm not, I'm not a Christian. Okay, but I still, you know, I I still connect. I just connect with people that are spiritual. Yeah, yeah. You know, if you a Muslim, whatever, because I think that's where it starts. It starts with religion and why we are people are so divided because it's like gangs. I agree with that. Like, I, I don't believe what I believe. Mm -hmm, it's like, mm -hmm. damn. At the end of the day, man, do you still? No? Okay, cool. You can come to my house. Yeah, mm -hmm. yeah, yeah, yeah. I don't give a damn if you, I don't care if people believe what I believe. Nigga, if you steal, you a thief. That's it. That's if it. If you mess with little boys, you a molester. You a, definitely. I don't Chelsea. care, I don't care about what people believe. I'm concerned with their character. And what happens is, you know, we got to this point where we so absolute and this is why a lot of white people are, are the way they are when it comes to us. Because it starts with religion. Yeah. You know what I mean? I I have the right way. I know the way. I and I and I learned, like I said, when I went that when I, on that journey I went on, I realized and I sit here and watch this lady who don't speak the same language as me, and I watch her play with her little kids. And I'm like, that's a human being. Yeah. And she loved that baby just like my mama loved me. And she is going to try to do everything in her power to do the right thing by the higher power. Mm -hmm. But her grandmama told her that the name of God was Ugubaga. Yeah. And in her heart, she's a little, because the first God we know is our mama. That's it. Mm -hmm. That's it. Mama's the first God you know. Yeah. And she decide which God you're going to believe in after that. Yeah. Because that's, that's how I got I found Jesus. My mom said, "Look, if your mama love you, I don't love you more than Jesus." I said, "Who is this? <laughs> <laughs> I gotta I gotta meet this fellow." <laughs> yeah, yeah. This same thing with Islam. Same thing. So now we 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 expect somebody who was born the same way as us that ate off their mom their mama's body like we did to just say, "Hey, I'm I'm telling you the right way, and mm -hmm. I expect you to believe me. And if you don't, you're not you don't love God." Like nigga, what? 
Yeah. Like yeah. so that, you know, and I'm a preacher's kid. My mom was a preacher. Yeah. After her gangster time, but <laughs> she was a reform. But <laughs> but that so that's I think that's where that's where for me is like now I'm able to like when it comes to everything, like gay people, you know, back in the day when I was you know, don't get me wrong, I still be like, Oh hell no. Nah, yeah, yeah. You know, I, I ain't never going um and when I say hell no nah, people out there be like, Oh, just it's okay. It's okay if <laughs> it's okay if, if you a vegan Right, if you a vegan and I'm over here eating some pork, some some chitlins and I got chitlin grease coming, it's okay if you just say, "Oh, yeah, chitlin yeah, grease, yeah, nigga." Yeah, 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 yeah. It's okay. It's okay. It doesn't mean you be like, Mike's gonna burn in hell forever. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah. It's okay. Like I gotta say that because you know nowadays anything you say, what do you yeah, mean yeah, hell no? Yeah. I mean hell no, motherfucker. It ain't for you. It I, ain't for me. But I I empathize now. I do too because we've had we've had some uh, guests on here lately, mm -hmm. and I was like, man, I got to do this interview because I want people to know I'm not I'm I'm not definitely biased. I'm not biased, but I understand evolution too. Like evolution. what you just said, you just said that you're not this or that, but in my heart, whatever you are, you're not what you're about to be as you move forward. Right. You're growing every day. I grow, man. So when we start putting each other in boxes and saying, oh man, he not this because I ain't rocking with him, that's you being immature. Immature. Because every day, people are evolving. People are changing. Yeah. The person I was a year ago, two years ago, I'm not that person anymore. Every day is a new day for us to be better on this earth. I love everybody, man. I, yeah. For the first time in my life, I can say that. Whereas, this is how, this is how I look at it. I look at it like this. I can disagree. It's okay to disagree. True. It's okay to not like what I do. It's okay. But if I see you, I don't care if you got a boyfriend. I don't care if you got ugly feet. I don't care if you was a little person, whatever we call them people nowadays. If I see you fall into that water and you about to drown, I'm going to try to get you up out of there. Yeah. So that's where I'm at now in my life. So I'm okay with saying, oh, I disagree with that. I'm okay with somebody saying, "Well, I believe, you know, I believe in, I'm, I believe in Allah. I don't believe what you believe in, Mike. Okay, cool, but let's just make sure we won't let each other drown." Hey, yeah, that's how I look at it. I life. agree, man. I, I really be honest with you when you said you was coming on the show, man, and the phase on love and all the stuff that Ben said. I think that's the only thing that Country Wayne brought up in the where it might have been a little bit, you know, like it went a different way than I thought it would. Mm -hmm. But I was thinking about country when I was like, man, I got to get that dude on the show. I told you that that night mm -hmm. you called, you, you you hit us up. Like right during that time, I said, hey, ain't nothing but God. I'm yeah. being real. I was like, man, I, I was trying to figure out how to link with these people. I asked Jordan Jackson. Mm -hmm. We talked about Country Wayne on Jordan Jackson. That's another time where mm -hmm. he he really loved uh, Country, Country Wayne, Wayne, man. Same thing he said Jordan. that dude helped mm -hmm. him, man. He told some in-depth si stories, stories about Country yeah, Wayne. Yeah, because another thing, that was another thing. Jordan is committed to comedy. Mm -hmm. committed. Very much so. And he one of the people that's like, I'm going to figure this out. You know, you look at him like, oh, he's ha ha, but he's very competitive. Yes. But when he first started doing the comedy thing in Atlanta, people were taken to him. And Wayne was like, you funny. This man got booed off the stage. Mm. He said, man, bro, when Wayne, he said, when I got booed off the stage and I bombed, well, I don't think he got booed, I don't think he got booed up. he got bombed, he, he bombed. He said, man, when I bombed, bro, I had I walked backwards to get my check from Wayne. I knew I was gonna see him again. <laughs> and he said, um, he's like, I got my check from him and I just kinda my mind was like, Yeah, usually that's the end. And Wayne was like, All right, man, well, I'll see you next week. He's like, I ain't fired. He said, Man, you funny, man. You gotta just we gonna just figure it out. That's dope, man. That's, that's this who guy he is. special, man. He's special. He's very special to keep on the tenacity. Yeah. You know, to keep going no if matter what. If he believe in something. He ain't trying to hear it. He don't care. When, like, it's been situations where with me and him, I'm like, bro, I don't think this person's, I don't know about that. He's like, no, nah, no, nah, they good. He believe. We're going to figure it out. And he wow. right. He be right. You know what I mean? He be right. I come out, yeah, you was right, man. She just needed a little <laughs> this or that. But nigga, I'd have fired her ass. <laughs> so God didn't put me in position yet because I'd be like, <laughs> off with her head. <laughs> How do y'all find all these females, bro? I don't know how they find them. Bro, it'd be a bunch of females, different one. I'd be like, that ain't the same girl from last episode. I don't know how they, well, Chase is the one that cast everybody. Oh, he always cast, that's how, yeah. Yeah, yeah that's just how I meet Chase, Chase know what he, I need to meet Chase, that's why I find out all, I might can yeah, go a Chase. little high with Chase. <laughs> yeah, that nigga, nigga Chase is on it, you know what I'm Chase saying? Chase don't play. Man. How long has he been working with Country Wayne, ever since he started? They start, so they, yeah, they, so the skit started with them. Okay. Wayne was like, yo, 
I got an idea. Run with me. Chase like, all right. Because what Chase used to be Soldier Boy's DJ. Okay. Mm. Mm -hmm. So he wasn't even filming or doing anything like that before. I know he does. See, he, well, I don't know. I don't, I don't want to get the line, but I think I know he has cameras and he does. He, he I know he was like doing. I think music videos. I think I don't. I'm not sure, but he's the one started with him though. Mm. But what he do with that can't with that with that iPhone man, it's it's it's, it's, it's evolutionary. Then he goes straight to some scene at the end. I be watching him. I watch everything. Man, so this nigga gonna go. Where he gonna go today? I even think that part interesting. Where this nigga gonna end this at? I said, where this nigga gonna end this at? And that nigga end and that nigga gonna end that whole right. I say, cause I'm into this. Yeah. I said, this yeah, nigga end that whole. looking at everything, especially when you into that. Mm -hmm. He catching reactions. Like it's like. And I, my, in my mind, I'm like, how does he know? How did he know I was going to make that reaction? Yeah. He's like, watching you. He knows. I'm like, is he watching outside of the phone? And you know what I mean? Like, I don't he know how he does it. gets written? No. That's what he said earlier. It was like, it's like from it's, Wayne's head. Yeah, Wayne, like, yeah, just but I don't know if he take it. it from his head onto paper and then give it to everybody. No, nah, no. Nah, he's just like, hey, we, we doing this. We going this. We need this to happen. This, that. These are things that need to happen. And, and however y'all say and whatever y'all yeah. say to get to that point. It's that's a gift. What it's What's the end game for you, Mike? End game for me, riches. <laughs> 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 that's it. No, definitely. Um, I want to be so wealthy that I can put out some kind of program. Because, you know, people listen to you when you got money. That's right. Mm -hmm. To teach black people that we are African. We're not African Americans. And teach Africans that we are Africans. Because that's why we they so have behind. A statement, I guess, wow. Because it's like African American is so it's bullshit. Think about it. If you have a a a German shepherd that's born in America, what is it? A German, German shepherd. shepherd. It's a German shepherd. shepherd. That just happened to be born in America. Yeah, mm -hmm. you're right. That's who we are. But see, what happens if you say, I'm an African-American. We separate ourselves from our source. And now we are visitors. We are long-term visitors, but we visitors over here. Yeah. And then the people over there, you know, it's a reason why we can take over Africa. Because what, what they did was they said, hey, this, big, this is the biggest continent with all the resources. We're going to divide you into countries instead of states. Yeah, because mm -hmm. New York ain't no country; it's a state. Mm -hmm. It's a state. Mm -hmm. So now we got y'all. We can take over this little area. Then we can colonize this little area. We separate y'all. Then we separate the the, the more uh, um, evolved versions of you in America and tell them they're not African. Mm -hmm. See what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. You can't go. You can't shoot no Arabic man in the back for no reason because he got a whole country that's gonna say, "Hey, what was that about?" Yeah. Exactly. You can't shoot no Chinese person in the back of the head mm -hmm. for no reason because he's driving fast because you got a whole country that make everything in this country saying, hey, my friend, what was that about? Mm -hmm. So when you connect, when you when you disconnect something from its source, it has no power. No, yeah, it's true. So what happens is that, that like, that, that if you go to Mexico right now, is you're like, damn, this shit looking real nice. Want to know why? Because the Mexicans that came over here and learned the game and made the money, whether it was legal or illegal, however mm -hmm, they made it, mm -hmm. they send money back. Mm -hmm. And they also send back the ideas. Okay. The Asian people that come over here and go to school here, ah, all quiet, looking docile and shit, they learn it and they, they learn the game it. and they send the money back and they send the information I back. I graduated from Harvard. Man. But everything that I do is going to go back. back to here. That's right. We don't do that because we don't think we're from there. Mm. Yeah, that's real. This is why we in that's last real. place. So I got my my plan and my goal, my end goal is to get to the point where I'm strong enough and powerful enough to get that message across. Because if the, if Africa was the, the United States of Africa, everywhere else in the world would be a third world country. Wow, that's dope. Being um, an actor, mm -hmm. tell me about a time that was whether it be racially profiled or this the time that was very discouraging for you and how you handled it. Um, oh man, I had two incidents. One of them almost whipped, whipped his old man ass. Um, <laughs> old man. Yeah, old white man. Yeah, here we go. This is the story of Terry Crews got grabbed in the crowd. Yeah, see, that would <laughs> that'd been me. That shit got shut down. <laughs> this is the Terry Crews grabbed in the crowd story coming yeah, here. Yeah, nah, this ain't gonna be like this story. <laughs> That shit, they were like, man, it was some man knocking shit over, strangling some man. We had to shoot him. 
Cause you, put, you grab my shit, I'm gonna put me down like a dog. I'm gonna be biting this nigga there. <laughs> but I had two incidents. One was, I was on a set of a show, big show, I'm not gonna say the name of it. And there was a guy, he's the focus guy, you know? And he didn't know I was cast, he thought I was an extra. So I'm sitting behind him, and I'm watching him. I'm kind of watching, cause I'm, I'm always involved. Cause usually the actors sit in the trailer. Yeah. Mm-hmm. I don't do that. It's, it's what they call motivated actor. He's motivated. He's, I just want to be a part of it. I want to feel the energy before I come on set. So I'm sitting out there, and he he turns around and says, don't watch me, it's distracting. Mm. I said, who the fuck you talking to? <laughs> That's what you said? Yeah. Who the fuck you talking to, man? And he looked like, because, you know, extras. Don't never say that extras back. like shit, you know yeah. what I'm saying? And he looking like, oh, shit, this one talks. <laughs> Then this one whoop ass too. So explain to me who the fuck you talking to, talking about something. He was talking about crazy. I said, man, listen, man. And I told him, I said, oh my God, I got a bigger one than that. But what did you tell him? I just told him I was gonna whoop his ass. No, don't talk to me crazy quick, unless, you want, unless you can fight. You probably you, helped him. Yeah, I said, unless you unless you a, a different type of old man that know how to do some kind of martial arts that I don't know about, you need to watch how you talk to me, sir. Damn. Cause I'll lose this job, I'm already rich. What did he say? Uh, Walked uh, off, got the hell yeah, away from you. On. Give me and the then, next story. This is uh, this is okay. Let me give you one that's crazier than that. I can't say his name. Very famous. I probably never worked again in his production, but he was talking crazy to me, and there, like he was talking all crazy. Everybody, I told him in front of his whole all the producers. I said, "Listen, man," because he was like. Cause I guess they said something to him like, "Hey man, they can feel my energy." I'm like, "Yeah, cause I don't do all. Don't disrespect me. Like, just yeah, talk yeah, to me." Yeah. But what happens is when you get to see the number one slave owner of today's time is opportunity. Yeah, mm-hmm. yeah. This is why these niggas are scared. Well, you to out say here something. dropping bars, that nigga boy. That nigga yeah. dropping bars in here. <laughs> that's, that's real. So this is why we have all these people, these high power guys that I don't see nothing about that. Or yeah. So what happens is when you get onto these sets, they feel like, oh, he's under. The slave owner opportunity. I could treat him however, and he going to deal with it because I'm like, no, y'all don't understand. I got $5 million of crypto. Yeah, I ain't trying I to hear I will beat your ass, old man. <laughs> so what happened was, he's he's huge. You know what I'm saying? Everybody know him. And, oh, you know who he is. And he but he an asshole. Yeah. But I know this. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to watch you. And I'm watching how you talk to everybody. And once I, once I realize you talking to me like that, I know what it is. These people want to demasculate black men. Is it emasculate? You know what I'm talking yeah, about. Yeah, 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 yeah. Demasculate so, sounds better. Let's and go. And because I'm the type of person where I ain't going to do this role, you, I ain't put on no fucking dress. Nobody I'm doing not doing that. certain things that I just don't feel like I'm comfortable doing. I don't give a fuck what y'all feel like. But I don't feel doing. like that. So what happens is when, you, when you're masculine and you on the set with all these women, I got to do something to let it be known that you under me. Yeah, so I'm gonna talk crazy because I think I think you're a, I think you're a slave to opportunity. Yeah, so I walked over to him politely from the air, all his producers and everything. I said, "Listen to me." I said, "Talk to me how you would talk to me in the dark alley," because I act the same way I act in the dark alley, right here, right now. So if you don't, if you don't feel like you would talk to me in the dark alley like that, don't do it now. Cause Damn. the same thing I would do there, I would do it here. He shut up, talk. He changed that tune. Dude. Oh, well, you know, I, I don't take it personal. I'm just, it's a lot going on. That's cool. I got a lot you going on. Like, let me see who he sounded like. That nigga actor. So you got to catch this. <laughs> that nigga sounded just like the nigga. Just like him. Who the hell was that? We all go through shit. <laughs> I go through so much. You know what I'm saying? I'm like in my mind, like nigga, you ain't never lived in no '97 Toyota Corolla. I was living in a car yeah. and I never talked to nobody sideways. Yeah. So you ain't finna do it because you're trying to rush to get the project done. Yeah. I'm a human being, bro. I don't talk to nobody like that. I treat every woman like a queen and every man like a king. I don't give a yeah. damn. When I'm on set, and everybody will attest to this that's work with me. Everybody. When I'm on set, I treat the person that drive, the transportation person, the people in the crafty, like I treat the person who put the money behind the film. That's dope. Mm-hmm. That's how I treat everybody. So I can't let you talk to me like that, sir. Cause I'm too, I make sure, and I catch myself. You know what I mean? Cause you get to this point you, when you're first team, first team. You know, it's like, oh, get the umbrella. You know, I'm like, why does what little woman got the umbrella over me? Yeah, that's real. I'm like, nah, baby, put that over. I can't. You're first team, girl. Put that umbrella over you. So you, you actually, you, you actually don't lose place of who you are. You can't. 
Because God, what I'm saying? God because, remind you. He yeah, reminded me before. Exactly. I lost place of who I was when yeah. I was getting that street money. And because I had came from, you know, you when you broke and you don't ever had no money, and it's like a lot of women was not really, you know, they don't give a damn about their handsome shit when you broke. No, Let me no, tell you, no, no, that's when you, not true. And they nigga at the mall, no. they don't care about height. Let me tell you, no, something. hell no. I don't care how tall you is. If you work at you Rex broke. TV and you making five hundred dollars every two weeks, women don't. You are they not gonna get you like Idris Elba. No. I said nigga name. <laughs> I can't say the nigga I haven't said it. Andrews Elba. Andrews Elba. Oh, you can say it. You bet not. You bet not say it right. <laughs> Y'all gonna be in bed like, hey, hey. baby, so how how did you win? I think it was good. Yeah, it was real good when you said that nigga name. <laughs> but you got you just know the nigga name like that. That's what you do. <laughs> no, but, Man. but so I came, so really I was I was I was traumatized because I had came from nothing. And now I was getting this fast money and I started being treated different by women and people yeah. and everybody, my jokes is funny. I was like, damn. So it was like a bit of a arrogance, yeah. it was insecurity. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? As insecurity started kicking in. If somebody didn't want to talk to me or somebody did something or if somebody did anything that didn't have, that had less than me, I might be like, broke ass nigga. You know yeah. what I'm saying? Did you go to counseling? Yeah, man, the spirit that that journey. You see I went what I'm on. saying? Like it's something that that's in you to where when you speak, you always showing the fourth the, the the way that you corrected yourself as we've been doing. That's the journey. When my mom went to heaven, my mom is my counselor from heaven. Yeah. When she went to heaven, and when I once I oh, oh, I came back from being a walking dead, and when I went on that spiritual journey, I, I what I did, I, t I traveled the world. I yeah. went because my thought process was, okay, I've been going to this church. And they've been telling me everybody else wrong. Yeah. That's like me going to a Benz dealership and asking them, hey, what you think about the BMW? Oh, you're going to burn in hell. <laughs> <laughs> when you get to the end of the road, that's the reality. So I said, let me, let me go to everybody's, let me go to a Benz dealership, tell me about your car. Volvo, tell, tell me about, about your, your car. car. Cadillac, you got to go there Cadillac. too. Cadillac, tell me about you your car. Yo, my nigga, I got to pull up on you. Well, you have to. <laughs> <laughs> Y'all got, it come with rims or not? <laughs> <laughs> so in doing that, I learned empathy. And then and being an actor, acting is, if you are a, being a trained actor, if you don't have empathy, I, I can't. You can't. How can I become I something I don't, right. I don't really. So because you have to live that role. Like when they give you a role, how long do you have to be that person before you actually have to perform as that person? As soon as you pick it up, you have to take the side of this. So it's like. The reason why I can't keep playing these certain roles, like, hey, you're gonna be the cheating boyfriend, and when, and like, okay, cool. But when they give me this, they give me the script, and I read it, and the, if if you write it like, I'm writing this as just a cheating ass boyfriend, I can't really deal with this script because I have to. It's like mm, you're on the nose with the writing. Yeah, it has to be. Give me something I can hold on to. Like, why am I like this? Why am I the cheating boyfriend? Why am I the, you know, the abusive man? Why am I like that? You know, I have to go somewhere and find where did it go wrong for this person in his life so I can empathize with him. Yeah. So that's why I don't play. So I'm never yeah. going to play a rapist. No. I'm never going to play certain roles that, I, that I'm not willing to open up to and say, oh, I understand. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? I'm not, I'm not there yet. Yeah. You know what I mean? But, but. It, it made me learn how to empathize yeah. and, and then also you have to before I can master playing someone else I have to master myself yeah, yeah so I have to say I was acting like that because I was insecure yeah you know what I mean yeah I had why was I why did I get I listen that? to you say that a few times since we've been talking man it's so dope to to witness somebody who's been through stuff see some people don't know how to see that because I've been through been a lot through. you, you know what I mean yeah. so when you done been through it and you know you changed you came from a long way mm -hmm. that's why I talk about evolution like I do because I understand where I was at, mm -hmm. and I understand I ain't where I want to be, yep. and I'm steadily moving. I'm a, I'm a work in progress, right? Oh, I'm a work in progress. So we all trying to get there, and we not there. So who am I to set up here in, in this stage of my life and say this ain't right? And I don't, I'll never feel that way because I don't know if what I never. Feel. I don't know. So when I start teaching the word, I would always teach you could worship God where you stand. Uh, I always had an open, uh, open knowledge for God. That's what I would call it. You mm -hmm. know what I'm saying? And uh, this is something that I took, you know, I took, I took, and uh, I believed that way, and I taught that way, and that's what helped me. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. So when I see people, don't matter who you are, what state you in, I'm always try to treat you like I would want to be treated, like like what I said off off camera. That's important, right? That's right, man. Yeah. Who is God? <laughs> God, think about God, right? This is what I always struggle with. Think about this person who was told by their grandmama, his name is Ila Bila, whatever. 
And this person said, I'm going to do right by people. My whole life, I'm going to try to be better. How we are, we're evolving. Yeah, we're evolving every day. But they're still evolving under what they was told is the way, right? Yeah. Mm -hmm. This person gives and gives and loves and all these different things. And it's like, I can never understand, like, why would God just take this person and let them burn forever? Because they didn't believe what somebody else told them that God said. But they tried to do the right thing. You know what I mean? So that's why I got to the place where I'm like, you know what, man? I just want to do I just want to do right by people. I just want to love people. And anybody who loves people, I don't care about what they believe. Because we ain't going to agree on everything, no way. You yeah, know, we're going to agree yeah, on yeah, everything. My sister, I got a sister I die for. I don't agree with everything what she, she believes in, what she do. But, you know, I love her. You know what I mean? Yeah, yeah. And I think that's what, that's what true love is. True love is being able to disagree. That's what people got to learn nowadays, yeah, too. Yeah, yeah. Is it, this is the camera they look yes. at? Yes. True love is me being able to disagree with your ass and you disagree with me, but I'm still going to pull you about that water you about to drown. That's what's important. That's very important. I can love you and never agree with certain things you do in your life. That's real love. Agreeing is not acceptance. It's I not have the same people, thing. I, I know people right now that I love and I don't agree with anything that they do. And that's okay. Mm. I hate that we live in this world now where it's like, you are a, a this and a that and it's like, shut the hell up. But the thing about what you just said <laughs> about those people that you love that, uh-huh. you know, but you not, what if one day they came to you and said, this is that and this is this and this is why I do that, then you would have a chance to change how you feel. Right. So that's why I always say I don't just Or I could give them a different perspective. You may help them. I'm but they have to a have a perspective Because sometimes if you live in your bubble all mm-hmm. the time and never really come out of your bubble, as in your train of thought, then you don't understand certain things. But one person can say something to you and you perceive it in a different way. You're like, you know what? You're right. I should try to do this a little bit different or right. I should, you know, look at it in a different way. People don't see anything but your perspe- their mm-hmm. own perspective. You know what yeah. I mean? Let me bring this on in. Top three comedians, comedians of, of all, all time. time. Ooh. Eddie Murphy. Eddie Murphy. That, number he be, he one. Be getting, he be getting in there. Eddie number two. Is, yeah, but Eddie Murphy. Look, go on. Let me hear your explanation about Eddie because you got an opinion about it. Oh, yeah. No, Eddie Murphy. And I tell Wayne this all the time. A lot of people look at Wayne as the next... Ernie Mack, because he country. And I see him as he, as Eddie Murphy. Eddie Murphy is number one to me because he can do the the like you said earlier the serious funny. Yeah, we can take Eddie serious. He can do the goofy funny. Eddie do all the levels of funny. When he did stand up way back in the day, he was the top dog of it. You know what I'm saying? He, what he is was, a serious movie Eddie ever came in? Serious moments, the one, the one where she, where that lady died. Oh yeah, with the with the yeah, yeah I hated yeah. that movie, but, I, but it was oh, serious. Yeah, it was right. serious though. I took him serious. And he played it. He played, he played it played well. It. You're right. You know that's why Kevin Hart is trying to do what he's trying to do. He's like Kevin Hart understands that I want to be revered as a great actor because that's what made Eddie mm-hmm. above everybody. Else. He's funny. He can do whatever. They can Joan like when you see life, Eddie. But he he's iconic. He's everything. You know what I mean? Damn. I gotta say, Martin is up there for me. That's my Martin boy Lawrence. right there. Shout he out Martin, Martin Lawrence, man. It's I my love guy Martin, right man. there. He watched all of his shows. I do. It ain't give me some names that. for the third person. No, I'm, don't give him that. Let him let them. You know, I got some. So give me some names. You, you just say all these male people. There's no female. They ain't going hard enough. Ah, no. Mm-mm, I'm sorry. Monique go hard, though. People man, don't give credit. They, I mean, let's just you be think real. She, she got canceled. Even actresses, when you were talking about actors, not Viola Davis. Top three, she is a the great. Dope. Right, but you know, she wasn't in your top three. She ain't one of my top three favorite. <laughs> These women don't play about them. They are so. But but that would be Angela we, Bassett. A she beast. Dope, dope. But not in your top three. She ain't better than the three people I named. To me, my third favorite. Now he's my favorite stand up of it? all times. Damn, I forgot about Dave Chappelle. <laughs> they should kill one of them guys. But, but who did you just it's remember? Patrice O'Neill. Patrice O'Neill. Man. Yeah. You Dave Chappelle, you got and knocked you out like by Patrice O'Neill. No, but that, that, was, that was Dave Chappelle's favorite stand comedian. And yeah. Kevin Hart. Yeah. yeah. Patrice O'Neill was so raw. And I even if you don't agree with everything he say, because he was like, oof. 
I'd be like, damn, Patrice, don't say it like that. But he, he just was so it. honest. I just, that's what I love. I love honesty, honesty. in comedy. It's yeah. like, we don't have that. that. Rhymes. Huh? A little bit. Honesty and no. comedy. Who? No. Com wow. Yeah, that kind of go. Who? Honesty and comedy. I was trying to tell you. It's the same thing. <laughs> yeah. Comedy is the truth. Yeah. It's the truth that hurts. Yeah. That we just like, you know. Man, Patrice and was a beast. But Dave Chappelle, damn, how, why is it three? Why are we doing five? Uh, uh, we do three. That's how you make it hard. Yeah, yeah, yeah we lock everybody in. Everybody wants us to do five, but I'm like, no, just three. It's, yeah. it's like Patrice Chappelle. <laughs> <laughs> man, thank you so much for coming on the show, man. Uh, how can people get a, uh, reach out to you if they want to look you up and see things that you're doing? Instagram. I know Instagram is dope. I watch that. Mike now. Bless. I'm be doing a lot more Instagram Man. That's a lot of money in Facebook. Man, and anything else you got? Did we no, miss did anything? did we leave out anything? I think we covered everything. Did we talk? We, we covered everything? We got down. We got down. We got down. We we We're got the best now. interview with this guy. <laughs> that, and, and we are family, but we we, we killed others. Whoever How he interviewed with. How do you know with. her show? The couple shows that you we did got, watch. We just getting our feet wet in this. I want to hear his opinion. <laughs> How did you, what was your perspective on our show when you first saw You going to just put it out there like that? Yes. I'm here. Hey, there you go. There you go, man. A year. I'm here. That says a lot. And he came just for this I got show. A flight to come do this. And he came just pick, for this you show. You can choose your platform Definitely. that you go on. Definitely. And, and I get asked every day to come on different It was stuff. the energy, right? I know I know I know where y'all going. Yeah. Thank you. Man, sure. I said I take that. See, I embrace that. Just come here. No, seriously. Come, I'm trying my best to make then, sure we and stay then consistent. What's the difference between when you actually saw us on um on YouTube compared to now when you can't being in the establishment yeah in person and actually being around us what's the difference it's I mean you feel like family it's, it's uh it's relaxed it's cool uh I was offered beverage hey <laughs> would you like something to drink I was like okay whatever well, we can do it's a professional but well we try to pick you up and everything we were we trying to buy the plane to, come on man I got flewed out <laughs> You deserve it though, man. Like I do that a lot because I feel like, like I told you earlier, I go right back to it. I just treat people like I would want to be treated. Mm -hmm. And I know God watches over me. He knows why I'm doing it. We do it a lot. And and I think I don't look at the numbers. I just look at the fact of we stay consistent. God's going to do what he's supposed to do. We ain't got to worry about nothing. Because to sure. me, the goal is not to make this be work. Mm -hmm. You want to treat this like you're just having fun every day because as soon as you start to get stressed and treat it like work, it it mm. it becomes mm. work. Work. Yeah. Like hey. the skits. It's exactly. fun. I, I love, I love, I love the seeing them. I'm like, okay, cool. You forget. I mean, I'm like, we're we making a bunch of money. But you forget about that. Three minutes. That's having fun. That's what you said, y'all skits. Three minutes. Three minutes. Yeah. I, three I minutes. me out because I didn't think about it till you said it. It's like, damn, Man. me right. I mean, some of them are a little bit longer than three minutes. Yeah, but typically they three They're minutes right. and they on to the next thing. And then I'll be mm -hmm. anxious. They have you at the edge of your seat trying to figure out what's coming next. What's next? That's important. So, But it's never like a continuation. Yeah, it is. Yeah, it's continuous. It's always them, like that. Yeah, yeah. I watch them. It's just yeah, like people that. People been there for years. Maybe because I be skipping around. I don't ever watch them like em. one yeah, after the nah, next. They, I don't ever. So I always like, I watch this one and I watch that one. We need you, you, need you to come on to the so Wayne's world. I <laughs> am a big country Wayne, he, Mike Bless fan. I mm. watch him all the time. I he promise. He introduced me to country Wayne years ago. I watch him and I don't care what nobody else doing because I'm like that. <laughs> I'm going to watch him. I'm going to get him on this show. I'm going to I'm gonna keep watching it no matter what. I'm a big fan. That's I love real. what you guys are doing, man. Keep on blessing our people, uh, showing them that we can be looked at as family men, that we do go through things, but show the good pictures, man. This dude got money on there. He had an extra place to live that didn't nobody know about. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. We getting to it. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> Thank you so much for coming on the show, man. We love you, bro. Y'all yeah, coming down uh, this Saturday? Saturday night? I'm going to put y'all on the list, man. Y'all got coming. tickets. Yeah. We coming to Houston. Mm -hmm. We were just there. What we time is the show? I think they all been seven thirty. We coming. Okay. We coming. Um, if we have to push somebody uh, back or up, yeah. we co we going to Houston. Yeah. Okay. We will be there. Let me know, y'all. Y'all VIP. Book my room up there at the same place I stayed last time we was down there a few okay, weeks cool. ago. Yeah, we feel we'll and be then there. And I'll bring up. Uh, backstage afterwards. Hey, awesome. yeah, that's dope, man. So y'all see what's happening in Boss Talk. <laughs> My guy, Mike, just came over here and shut us down, man, with love, man. <laughs> Thank sure. you so much, man. Thank you, God brother. bless you, man. Bless I love you, you brother. You too, it's buddy. been another great segment of Boss Talk 101, where the bosses talk. And we out.